Hello, my name is Bernardo. Welcome to YourGreatLifeTV.com. Today's episode is how to fire your personal story. And fire is in you are fired type of deal. Uh, what is a personal story? Personal story is a beautiful thing. It's a series of bullshit excuses that we come up with in order to justify why we are not where we want to be in life. Uh, why we don't, we, we can't lose the weight, why we can't attract the right person in our life, why we don't make the money that we want to make. Whatever it is that, whatever issue you may be facing in your life, and we all have some at some point, uh, usually there's a story in the middle, which is a series of excuses that you buy into as to why you can't be there or get there. I, for example, for the longest time, really wanted to share out ideas with people and when friends that are close to me knew that I wanted to do something different, uh, asked me why I wasn't doing it, I would actually come up with this elaborate answer that had to do with a mixture of not having enough time, to not knowing exactly how I, would, I was going to do it, to the amount of money it was going to take, to the, all these things, instead of just plainly saying, I'm afraid of doing it. Which is really what it came down to, because once you, once you make a decision about it, then you can figure out the how if you have a strong enough why. So what are some ways that we can actually part ways <laughs> and fire our personal story? The first way, immediate one, is awareness. And the easiest way I found, at least in my mind, to become aware of it is just first say it out loud and then write it down. Once you write down, the reason why I can't lose weight is because I'm thick boned. Once you write that bullshit down and you look at it, you're going to say, you know what, this is nonsense. It makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. When you say it to someone, you can't like build it up and you have, but once you write it down and you see it for yourself, if you really have that, that need to discover your story, then you, you'll realize quickly that it's just not true. Second way is to associate emotional pain to how this has hurt you in the past. So I'm not talking about thinking, oh, in the past, I have not been able to wear my bathing suit on the beach. That doesn't really do it for you. But if you actually go back to that moment where you felt ashamed to take up your shirt, that emotion, not the thought of it, the emotion will kick you over the edge and make you start looking at ways in which that story is living in your life today. And again, I'm talking about something maybe materialistic in nature, but same thing could be applied to not having the right partner or not feeling connection with your children, whatever it is that you have as an excuse, because my parents didn't love me enough. So what? <laughs> I think we can all come, come out on the other end because, the only reason why I'm saying this is because you can find examples of people that face the exact same situation that you faced, and maybe you decided that A was the answer, and they decided B, even facing the same situation. So you do it with the past, then you do it with the future. You close your eyes and you really associate to how your life will continue to be limited if you continue to buy into this bullshit story. How many people will you miss out on connecting with? How much money will you lo <laughs> maybe lose through believing this way about yourself? How much less joy, how much less vibrancy you will experience in life if you continue to buy into these excuses? And the third way which, in which you can do it is you, you find somebody who's done it. I can assure you that whatever it is that you want to do in life, you can find somebody who's already done it and who's done it great or something very similar to it and you can learn from them and cut down your learning curve instead of going through all the errors. And you know what? This person may have taken 20 wrong steps and maybe they can share with you in a book or in a video or <laughs> through an interview how they did it. And you can learn that and apply it and cut down the time it's going to take you to get there. To give you an example, I've heard so many times the excuse of, I'm just too old for this. Let me remind you that my buddy here, um, who just died, passed away a couple of months ago, Jack Lanane, when he turned 70, he decided that he was going to swim one and a half miles on the cold water, pulling 70 boats with people on them <laughs> around his neck and in shackles. And he did it successfully. So whenever you try to think, I mean, but that person has a specific way of thinking and believing and is not buying into a story saying I'm too old. So my challenge for you today is, like, again, let's talk more action. My, act, my challenge for you today is to think about not all your stories, but your main story. <laughs> what is your main story? What is the thing that's maybe in your life holding you back the most? And what can you do on this realm of writing it down associating pain to the past and the future and finding somebody who's actually broken through that and come out and successful on the other end. You can do those three things. 
I can guarantee you that you can fire your story, but not only that, fire up your life, which is even better. So as always, I'm asking you to live a full life and a conscious life, and I'm challenging you to discover your story, to challenge your story, to fire your story, and to come out the other end with a better sense of reality.